Chapman from Chatsworth International Horse Trial, set in Duke and Duchess of Devonshire. And this weekend, it's the home of the second leg of the FEI Eventing and Nations Cup. Myself, Ben King, will be bringing you all the cross-country action as it unfolds and what a day of action we have got ahead of us. The weather today, it's dry, but it's not been dry. Of getting this event on. The ground conditions, they're going to be soft, but they're drying all the time. Ian Stark's course, such a well designed track. It's made up of the 20 fences, 34 jumping efforts. We have one, that's fence 17, that's been taken out, around the, out of the course. But our first horse of this FBI Nations Cup 2023 second leg is away, and it's France's Nicholas Tuzan. An absolute gold HDC. Myself, Ben King, will be bringing all the action as it unfolds. Nicholas comes forward on a two phase score. Nation finished sixth. First of these waters. Now, this water. It's a bounce as we see in. And then they've got to push on to the water. And then the brush and nicely through that. The mixtures aren't an absolute gold HTC. Log back, so we'll take them into the water and then actually in the water there, a triple brush. And this fence here, they've got the two options there. They can go to the left or the right of that brush, the B element. Nicholas Tuzan and Absolute Gold HDC just designed to take the, the right hand element. And then they've got a big brush, Oxer. Nicholas Tuzan and Absolute Gold HDC make nothing of that. On that very good two-phase score, 37.7. It's going to be interesting to see his time as he runs on up the hill. He would be around the sort of three-minute mark at the top of the hill. So that clock is coming now. This is Nixon Tazan, an absolute gold HDC at the Delaki Water, bouncing in. This great replay here and setting up for that brush. In the water, Nicholas, such an experienced rider, represented France on numerous occasions. As I mentioned, got that brilliant top 10 at those Tokyo Olympics on this horse. And seems to be travelling really smoothly around the middle stages of this course. Difficult fence, that's running down the hill. That's fence 12 ABC, the Equitrek Evolution Rail Ditch Rail. On those NIM clips, now it's to the ice pond. What will Nicholas do here? A real tight right hand turn. Set rush. For absolute gold. Time penalties now racking up. Moving. Cup combo. Three elements. Curving from the right hand line. around the stages of this course. Back with Andrew Hepman, Art Hill Phantom, coming towards the second of the combinations here out on track. Made up of the three elements of the Renapur Gypsy Caravans. It's the three longest strides to the A to the B, and then three slightly shorter strides to the B to the C element. And Andrew Hepman and Hart Hill Phantom move safely through all three elements of that fence or that slight rise up the hill. 
beautiful Chatsworth house behind them. It really is such a beautiful setting here. Crowds are coming out in force to watch this top class action of this FDI Eventing Nations Cup, the second leg. Obviously after the dressage, Team GB were leading. Second France and third Belgium. Belgium winning that first leg out in Monte. And over the first two, riding for Team Italy, this is uh, Ariana Shibo. And Andrew just looking at the clock there, doesn't look to be chasing the time. He's be looking to get a good clean run under his belt as our latest starter is away. This is for Italy. Ariana Schivo and Kefira Dilla Umer. They come out on a dressage of 33.0, rolled two poles in the show jump. 30 at those World Games out in Petoni last year. Such an experienced combination. And also had a top 30 finish at those Tokyo Olympics. Interesting enough, that's the first horse we've seen taking the left hand option of that B element at fence 9. Double question on that hilltop. Now they make that left turn turn to a big brush oxer. Pushing on around this course. Let's just have another look at what she does. This is at the combination just sort of they pop over that now like oh just leaving a leg does well to keep the combination intact really good show of core strength there to get back into the saddle back with Andrew safely a quick pick there those rails all three of those rails that combination on those nim clips Pop neatly through. Fence 12, ABC, the Equa Trek. Evolution, rail ditch to rail. And now to this ice pond water complex, the second of these waters out on course. Real tight for a right hand turn. But just goes past the B element. So pick up the 20 penalties there. Did cross her tracks behind the fence. So I would say that's probably going to be a technical 20 penalties. Well, the confirmation of that for Aaron Eskibo for Italy. And then another rider just taking the left hand option. So we've had sort of what, three horses out of the start box, and we've seen one go to the right and two to the left. I think it's just personal preference to which side, which side of the corner you go there. And scoring Andrew Heffernan and Hart Hill Phantom, the second of our finishes today. He tops your old gelding. Towards the ice pool. Tight right hand turn. Cooley Lafferty is back with me here, DJ and uh, Yasmin Ingham, Yasmin world champion at Protoni last year on her flagship ride, Banzai de Loire, this horse owned by Miss Jeanette Chin, this horse owned by Miss Jeanette Chin and Sue Davis Fund has moved quickly on to that hanging log in between the trees. DJ.
Interesting three, enough there, Jesse three, just three, after three, jumping three, the table, just putting up his three, hand. Three, and 4.4 time. And that now we're gathering the EPJ at the ice pond. Effortlessly through that. And it is really a tight turn to the um, B element there. The riders really need to get the horses back and just hop over that log, dropping into the water to be able to get that turn as we <laughs> with Spain's Eduardo van der Frick mystery and he's going to pick up the 20 penalties and that glance off at the, the element there in the water The furthest of those round is Eduardo Van de Fries Mystery and Marbera Pomez. They come towards the water. Yasmin Ingham, Rahir DJ, time in for them, 7 minutes, 16 seconds. So they pick up the 26.8 time penalties. So that is going to give them a three day score of 57.0. So this combination had a good top 10 at Bukalo as we move back with Spaniard Eduardo van de Fresme and Nebera Poms there at the three rail combination on those nim clips and the three rail combination on those nim clips and he makes it happen gets through all three elements was our French rider Stéphane Landois and Germain de Monceau living dangerously you could say at the uh, Equitrek rail ditch to rail so what will they make of this ice pond water complex okay, direct no direct route there nicely through they don't look to be hanging around really chasing the clock that good two phase score of 22.8. Live pitches. Oh. And living dangerously near the end of the course. This lad was Eduardo van der Fresmestre and Marabera Pomez. And our latest starter is away. Tina Magnuson and Champagne Pierre Z. 1.1 there, dressage. Rolled the one pole and picked up the one time penalty in the show jumping. This 15 year old gelding. You know, riding for Belgium. Belgium. That first leg out in Montelibretti. Back in March. Water. Combination have had a whole host of uh, good runs. They won out in Arville in Belgium last year. And they just choose to take the uh, left hand corner there of that B element. Of the Big imposing. Hope Valley Salary Brush Oxer at 10 for them. They're hanging around and they were not hanging around. 6 minutes 37 seconds, so 28 seconds over that optimum time. 11 point time penalties. 3 phase score for them 34.0. The standard is set by. Stefan Alandois and Germain de Monceau, 34.0, that is the score to beat. That is going to be tough as we see galloping on up the hill, Tina Magnusson and Champagne Pierre Z. 
moving quickly over towards the fence on top of that hill, the Mansfield Sandcastle. So it's a glorious sunny day. You would not believe the rain we have had. The organizers have done a great job of getting Chatsworth International Horse Trials. We've got the FEI Eventing Nations Cup class in progress at the moment. And leading the way on, on their three phase score, it is. France's Stéphane Alandois and Germain de Monceau. Back now with Tina Magnus and Champagne Pierre Z for Belgium. Safety through all three elements of the rail combination on those NIMS. Travelling smoothly around the course. So they're on, you need about a minute. A minute and ten, a minute seconds to get home from here. So she's going to be well over the optimum time. It's a really tough track to get the ends over that optimum. Combination at 20. Curve round made up of the three elements. There's a big table. And then the skinny brush. Oh, is it so it's not fine? Later starter, the United States starter is away for the USA. This is Halle Coon and Global X. Uh, Halle Coon has a glance off at the first of the combinations. That is fence five. That's the Delaki double of corners. And having had that glance off at the first element, it looks like Halle Coon, Global X on the Team USA, just raises a hand, decides to call it a day way out of the start boxes. Tina Magnus and Champagne Pierre Z, seven minutes, 15 seconds. So they pick up the 26.4 time penalties. They're a minute and six seconds over. Nine. So the team competition really hotting up at the moment. The French have had two horses home. Uh, Nicolas Tuzan and HT Absolute Gold HDC on 54.5, and Stefan Landois and Germain de Monceau. On a three phase score 57, the first of the combinations at 5 8. Stormhill Riot moving confidently around this course. And the quickest time of the day so far goes to Stefan Alandois and Germain de Monceau, who we saw a few horses go. They went round in 6 minutes 37 seconds, so they only picked up the 11.2 time penalties, 28 seconds over that optimum time of 6 minutes and 9 seconds. He moves on now up the hill. Tony Bizarro, so leading the way on the three phase leaderboard is um, Stefan Landois and Germain de Monceau on a score of 34.0 sat in second at the moment is Nicolas Tuzan and Absolute Gold HDC 54.5 and in third Yasmin Ingham Rahir DJ on 57.0 they're the top three on the three phase leaderboard Stormhill Riot Take the direct route. Going the direct route there for Daniel Bizarro and Stormhill Riot. They're going to get some time. They've only got a minute and 45 left to get home. As I said, 
said earlier on. Chatsworth is renowned for being a tough time to get. Very few horses go inside the time, and with the underfoot ground conditions the way they are, I don't think we're going to see a horse go inside the time today. So if we look at the team standings as it stands at the moment, as I've said, France have got two horses home around this cross-country course. We've had Team GB who were leading after the show jumping. Unfortunately, did lose Magic Roundabout and Bubby Upton. So, Ferrero Point, David Dole and Islock DHI, Roslyn Cantor, who was leading the class. Their scores... ...curving line. Oh, Daniel Bizarro and Stormhill Riot. Stormy all right, just beginning to look to, to tire. Oh, Daniel's going to have to use all his experience to bring Stormhill right home. Oh, and an unfortunate party of company there for Daniel Bizarro. And Storm Hill Riot, but great to see Horse and Rider both up on their feet. Look none for worse, but oh, what will happen now? Storm Hill Riot will be checked out by a vet just to make sure he's okay. Daniel will be checked out by a doctor. As we can see, the on the left there, the officials in their blue, uh, their blue jackets, just checking Daniel's okay and Storm Hill Riot. And it's so good to see Horse and Rider both up on their feet. Really is paramount horse and rider safety and the care of them. As I say, the vets are on different locations to attend to horses, to make sure they're all okay, as well as doctors for the riders. And whatever you seen, it is the rain we've had. A week of rain, just rain constantly. But the organisers have done such a good job of getting this event on. And as I say, the horses that have come forward so far, leading the way for France, it is Stéphane Lanois and Chemin de Monceau. They topped the three-phase leaderboard on a very competitive score of 34.0, the quickest round of the day so far around that cost country. In second is a fellow French teammate, Nicolas Tuzant, and absolute gold HDC, 54.7. And in third, Rahid DJ, Yasmin Ingham, 57.0. As we can just see, horses there circling at the start, warming up, getting ready to tackle this Ian Stark design track here at the Chatsworth International Horse Trials. Following that fall of Daniel Bizarra and Stormhill Riot. But we'll wait for our next rider to come forward in due course in this FEI eventing Nations Cup second leg of 2023. Obviously the FEI Nations Cup made up of the and then it will be decided on who takes that coveted Olympic spot to go forward to Paris next year or for the teams that haven't qualified so far the teams that have qualified France, Great Britain, Germany, Ireland, Sweden, Switzerland and the USA they've all got their Olympic tickets but Belgium, France they are still trying to get them obviously they do have a chance to get them at the European Championships um, later on in the year but there is a spot here and there we can just see circling down at the start that will be our next start they're still in the warm-up arena and uh, this is for france can kanki distance such a good season last year they won the under-25 championships at Bramham in June. And they finished off the season 
with a top 20 finish at Buccalo in the four star long combination competition I should say and Heloise very much one of France's up and coming young riders only 25 years old at the test event for the world championships towards the start and towards the start box as Heloise Leguerin for France Times of the day so far, both going to the French riders. Um, what can ABC? We've been seeing riders sort of do the three strides to three strides from A to B and then B to C. Let's see what Heloise does here. He is traveling towards the fence now. Back, uh, for Ooh, slight stumble. <laughs> Moves quickly through for Heloise Legurin and Kamaki de Sundry Az. And then they go from light into dark. Difficult fences. It's a, a log in between the trees, but they because the sun's out, you've got the shadows. And they go from light into dark. And now they come to the first of the water complexes. This bounce between Mary Bauer. <laughs> Iconic water jump here at Chatsworth. They are split so Fenna, the racker. And Google Van Auslingen. Will she go to the left or the right? Just taking the left hand option. As I say, a young rider and definitely a name we're going to be hearing a lot more of in the coming years for Team France. The They've just got the final Frederick fence to jump, the Frederick's ice cream flower tray between them and the finish. And we'll wait her time with interest. San, Sanan de Jong and Jersey MBF at the Gypsy Caravans. At That's fence six. They come forward 31.8 their dressage. Rolled the four poles in the show jumping. Picked up 0.8 of a time penalty as well, so two phase score for them 48.6. This horse only nine years old, so relatively young at this level. Carrying the NBA by Maeve Bolger and Brian Flynn over in all around the world. And Google and Helsingen at rail combination just beginning to move around the middle parts as back with San San de Jong and Jersey MBF. Really move confidently through both elements of the Delaki double question at 9A and B. Jersey MBF looks full of running. Hinging. That's a big brush and pops over that night. 
three horses out on the course, but they of them round. As they come towards the big table, but it looks to me as if Van Venraka looks like she's going to be uh, calling it a day. Puts her hand up, retirement out on course. So Belgium, that is, they've had one rider eliminated out on course um, in the show jumping. That was uh, Martin uh, Boone and Gravin Van Cantos. So then Belgium are not going to have a qualifying score in the team com competition with Sanem Baraka and Google Van Elsingen retiring out on course as problems we see at the rail ditch to rail or oh, Sanan de Jong for the Netherlands and Jersey MBF and just see her putting up her hand she's called it a day so that's a retirement out on course as Grace Taylor game changer for the USA they are away our latest start question at 9 and B on the hilltop running down to that B element there just another one to take the right hand option of that Grace very much a young rider beginning to make a name for herself I'm sure she'll feature on the team sheets of America at championship level soon Moving really smoothly around this course, so all, it's all happening here at the FEI Eventing Nations Cup second leg here at Chatsworth International Horse Trials. The team competition really hotting up. Team France have got three horses around and completed the cross country test. Smoothly through it, and the horse game changer looks full of running here. Traveling really smoothly around this course, so brilliantly designed by Ian Stark and built by David Evans and his team. David Evans, a renowned horse builder and designer, builds Le Moulin five star. Obviously, Le Moulin taking place in a couple of weeks' time. So the sun is shining here at the Chatsworth International Horse Trials and we see our latest starter with Grace Taylor for, for the USA and Game Changer getting to the latter stages of the course. Game Changer and Grace Taylor jump the last fence to complete their round will await a time with interest. They didn't look to be hanging around. Seven minutes, seven seconds. So they pick up the 23.2 time penalties. Obviously that optimum time, six minutes and nine. So 58 seconds over that optimum time. Three phase score for them, allowed in the show jumping just having a moment and as we see Ginny Thomason and Gladstone the second just putting their hands up to retire they are going to call it a day having had that refusal at the A element of the Queen Mary's Bower Water Complex. Ginny Thomason and Gladstone. Going to come back round to Kanaki de Sundry Z. They're in fourth on 61.8. So France have. three positions out of the top four 
as things stand at the moment we're on the three phase leaderboard so really things are really hotting up in this team competition as we just see in the red there David Dole for arrow point four team and that's David Dole for arrow point David who had such a good a couple of weeks ago on Gallery New Mode, finishing in the top. Po five star twice and finished in the top twenty five both times. So Horton Rider combination with lots of experience on what will they do? Around this Ian Stark design track with our ground jury members Andrew Benny, Sue Baxter and Douglas Hibbert. They will be at various points of the course watching this cross country action as David gets counted down and is in fact away now. David Dole for arrow point for team 505 meters that optimum time six minutes and 19 seconds the quickest round of the day so far is been 28 seconds over that optimum time and that was by France's Stéphane Lanois and Chaman de Monceau but what can David Dole do he's known as quite a quick rider and I'm sure he will not be hanging around as he runs this is the third fence now it's a well positioned fence, it's the offset brush, the riders just have to take gallop up and then make that right hand curving turn into it. But it proves no problems there for David Dole. Combination. the first two combinations out of the way smoothly around this course what he make now of this Delarkey Queen Mary Bowers Water Convex Bounty really needs that power off the ground Pulsion up, going through that water, heading towards that sea element. <laughs> David Dole, as we see for Arrow Point, not hanging around. See a lovely stride over the Hope Valley Saddlery Brush Oxer for them. Gallop on away up the steep hill for them. As next away for Spain, our latest starter, Pedro Lira Jimenez and Nigeria Delamore. They are away. Two face score 54.7. This a combination that uh, we're out in Monte Libretti in the three star long in March but unfortunately were disqualified out there and they competed in various three stars in Madrid finished top five position there back with David Dole Ferrero Point not hanging around safely over the Equitrek rail ditch to rail those rails on those nim clips they deserve respect as you run down the hill now to this ice pond water complex. Like turning right hand line. And go for a point. As back with Spain. Pedro Lira Jimenez, the first of the combinations. And Nigeria Amor. They are not hanging around. This combination is their first four-star short combination competition. Delamore. 
Eight, only eight years old, so the uh, youngest horse, one of the youngest horses in this field. Lovely mare. Moving on around the track. Delorme safely through the Queen at Marianne's Bower. That first of the wards complexes. We move back with David Dole. He looks to be really moving around this track on Ferrero. On those nymphs. It's back now with Spain's Pedro Lira Jimenez and Liguria Delamore at fence nine. We see just taking the right hand option there. The Delarkey double question fence there before this big brush oxa. As I say, this may confidently around the course. So David Dole and Ferro points are through the Nations Cup combination. So Oliver, Jimenez, and Nigeria, Delamore, they are at the middle stages of this course as at the Nations Cup combination. David Dole pushing on towards home, safely through the final combination for him. It looks like he's really moved, he's really moved around this course. Pushing on now for home, David Dole for Arrow Point. What can he do? The first fastest time is 11.2 time penalty, so 28 seconds over the optimum time. And that was set by France's Stéphane Lanois and Germain de Monceau. We wait for David's time with interest. We wait for it to confirm 6 minutes 36 seconds, 10.8 time penalties, the quickest round of the day so far goes to David Dole and Ferrero Point. Three-phase score for him, 45.9. So he goes into second place on the three-phase leaderboard. But from one fast round to a man that can really motor, Francis Gaspard Muxud and Zaragoza the second. What can they do? 29.4 their dressage rod, the two poles in the show jumping. 37.4 two-phase score but Gaspard. He is a quick man. This combination had such a good end.